Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha. Today I will discuss the difference between gang, racketing and crime syndicate. All these are the part of organized crime and organized crime is a category of transitional, national or local groupings of highly centralized enterprises run by criminals who attempts to regulate and control the production and distribution of a given commodity or service unlawfully. Eventually, it is the product of a self-perpetuating criminal conspiracy involving the callous exploitation of the social, political and economic institution of the society. Let's start with the first category of organized crime, which is gang. This is a very common category of organized crime. It is an organized group of three or more individuals whose purpose is to engage in criminal activity and which utilizes viciousness or terrorizing to encourage its criminal targets. The members collectively distinguish themselves by adopting a group identity which they use to create an atmosphere of terror or intimidation. For instance, a common name, slogan, identifying sign, symbol, tattoos, or other physical marking, styling of clothing, hairstyle, hand signs, and so on. Gangs are composed of tough and hardened criminals who do not hesitate to kill, assault, or use violence. They are involved in robberies, kidnapping, murder, extortion, and smuggling. Some gangs are engaged in antisocial activities, taking a cut of a loot or a fixed amount of money for the help of render. They are equipped with a model pistol, bulletproof vest, cards, etc. The gang criminals are efficient, disciplined, but dangerous. The next category is racketing. A racket is a strategic or systematized criminal act, usually in which the criminal act is a form of a business or a way to earn a illegal or extorted money regularly. That means it is often a continuous criminal operation. Donald Taft defined it as an organized crime in which the criminal elements perform a service to such members of society who are normally engaged in some legitimate business activities. It also involves dishonest way of getting money by deceiving or cheating people, selling worthless goods and articles, adulterate commodities, spurious drugs, and so forth. The racketers do not take away all the profits, but also allow the owners of the legitimate business to continue their operation like prostitution, gambling, liquor trafficking, drug peddling, etc. by giving them regular fixed money. In fact, money is demanded and paid as consideration for the protection given by the criminal group to the operators of illegitimate business. That's why protection racketeering is the most common category of racketeering. Some other examples are fraud and embellishment operation, kidnapping, murder and murder for hire, bribery and police corruption, seduction, cybercrime, drug trafficking, arms trafficking, extortion, prostitution and commercial sexual exploitation of children, human trafficking, smuggling, witness tampering and intimidation, illegal gambling or bookmaking, including match fixing and so on. So there are n number of racketing which is present in the society. Now the third category is crime syndicates. These are often called as mafia and is the most significant areas of organized crime group that attempts to control the supply of protection. They create their own business techniques, which is usually operates from established headquarters. 
they avoid using violence and generally have respectable position in the society they live in a posh residential area freely associated with high status person and engaged in lawful earning pursuits they generally supply illegal goods and services by an organized criminal gang the illegal good goods could be drug liquor etc while the illegal services could be call girls gamblings and so forth they mostly operates in big metropolitan areas which happen to be big centers of communication transportation and distribution of goods crime syndicates have proper hierarchy they do not deal directly each syndicate has bosses who are usually behind the scene there is frontman or underboss at various levels executing the work assigned to them the underboss collects information and relays message to the boss and passes instruction down to subordinates in some cases there is no underboss but the boss has an advisor or a counselor below the level of the underboss are criminals who act as intermediaries between the upper and the lower level personnel some of these intermediaries act as chief of operating units the lowest level members are ordinary criminals who reported to the intermediaries outside the structure of the syndicates are large number of employees and agent who do most of the actual works in various criminal enterprises this is all about the difference between gang racketing and crime syndicate this is a very short video if you want a detailed notes you may visit to my website that is priyasipaha.com hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget subscribe my channel till then take care goodbye